Hi, Red Sox fans. This is attorney Maria Baylor of the law firm of Samuel Sayward and Baylor, located in Dedham, Massachusetts, where we focus our practice in the areas of estate planning, elder law, and estate and trust administration. Welcome to this week's edition of Smart Counsel for Lunch. Today we're remembering Jerry Remy, the Red Sox baseball player and broadcaster who passed away recently. I wanted to um, take this opportunity to talk a little bit about the unique assets that people may own when they pass away and how to plan for those. Whenever someone passes away as estate planners, especially famous people, we think about their estate plan and how well they may have planned for their passing. And when Jerry passed, I thought about all of the unique assets he owned, such as uh, memorabilia, business interests, and um, you know, even the copyrights in his books. So let's talk a little bit about those types of unique assets and how you might plan for them. Things like sports memorabilia um, and other collectibles, you know, old uh, antique cars, um, action figures, um, wind-up toys, um, dolls, uh, coins, stamps, all kinds of unique assets people own, and they're very important to them. And when you pass, you want to make sure you've made provisions for those assets and who might receive them after your death. So if you want to leave those assets to a specific person, you can name that person in your will, you can write down the asset on your personal property memo and identify the person or the people you'd like to have the asset. If you want the asset donated to a museum, you can make specific instructions for that and also make provisions for that before your death by making arrangements with that uh, cultural institution. Or you can uh, specify that the assets be sold, especially if they have real value and you don't think anybody would want to keep them. But in order to make sure that happens appropriately, it's a good idea to name or designate people you know, uh, know the value of the assets and could advise your family on how best to sell them to, to realize that value. You know, personal pr property items, especially things like that, are often things families um, disagree over, and sometimes um, those disagreements can really turn into long-lasting um, family uh, disharmony. So we wanna make sure we plan for those kinds of things and everybody knows what your wishes are so that those wishes are carried out. The other type of unique asset um, Jerry Remy had was business interests. Um, I believe he was a restaurant owner, but any kinds of business interests are really important to plan for. You wanna make sure that you're abiding by any agreements that might be in place among the business owners, buy-sell agreements, operating agreements, things like that, and also um, understanding what those agreements call for. Sometimes they require those interests to be sold back to the business partners. Sometimes they give the business partners an option to purchase the interest from the deceased owner. Either way, you wanna make sure you, you have those arrangements in place prior to death, that you understand what those agreements uh, arrangements require and that your estate plan documents, uh, you know, empower your personal representative or your trustee to carry out those agreements after your death. You, you, in particular, you want your, to make sure your family is getting the value of those business interests and that they're going to get that value in a timely way. Finally, um, Jerry Remy was an author and uh, no matter what kind of creative person you might be, an author, an artist, a musician, um, an inventor, you wanna make sure that any of your creative endeavors are protected after your death, that you're leaving the copyrights or the patents or the other interests uh, to people who will have control over them after your death, the people you want will have control over them, and that they can exercise those rights appropriately to license um, those um, creative, uh, the, that intellectual property of yours, to prevent people from misusing it, to sell it, um, to do whatever is necessary following your passing and to carry out your wishes. So if you have unique assets, make sure you plan for them appropriately, uh, take the time to do that, and um, if we can help you in any way, don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.